Okay, so for men that participate in hookup culture, I just think it's so funny that after y'all will hook up with a girl you barely know, right? Let's say you don't know this girl on a deep personal level, you're just very attracted to her and you want to have an experience with her, right? So y'all have that experience, but then immediately after, this girl becomes of less value to you. She's not valuable to you at all. I'm sorry, did you expect to become a girlfriend? Did you expect to become a wife? You know, guys, I love these women who get on the internet and they complain about their own decisions, okay? Women are able to go out here. You can have your hookup phase. You can go out. You can see random dudes if you want. But that does not mean that he has to commit to you. And that does not mean that he has to have a relationship with you. Yo, what is going on guys? It is Taylor the Fiend back again with another response video. And on today's episode, guys, we've got a bit of a funny story for you guys here today. We have a story where a woman is complaining that she cannot find a man who is as good as Chad, okay? So a lot of these girls, guys, what they do is they go out there, they have their party phase, you know, they have their girls' nights, they want to be able to go out and do their queen boss babe activities or whatever degeneracy they're calling it and then they want to turn around at the end and say hey wait a minute where is my commitment well this girl in this particular story has actually come across a bit of a different problem here as we see the frames drop in the gameplay fantastic where she has gone out and she has tried to get with her chad earlier in her life but as she's gotten older guys she has realized that nothing quite stands up to the chad that she once had or the guy that she once liked okay and this is the story of a lot of modern women guys where they will chase men they will chase guys who are out of their league and maybe they'll get a dinner date maybe they'll get a relationship for like 20 minutes or something like that and then after the fact they will complain when no man matches up to that guy it truly is just the absolute you know most hilarious stuff you'll ever see guys but let's jump into this reddit story here and i will show you what i mean so this woman who i'm going to assume is 30 years of age or older there you go literally in the first second she says that she's 30 years old what a surprise like it's always funny how the epiphany comes guys when they reach around 30 years of age not when they're 22 getting all of the attention not when they're 25 but when they come creeping up on the 30 years of age that's when they start to complain about these things that's when hookup culture becomes a problem that's when men not committing to them becomes a problem you guys will notice that these things like womanism okay complaining about the fact that men won't commit to them these complaints only really come up when they're going into their 30s because they are no longer the type of woman that the man is choosing but let's jump into this reddit story here this woman says hi uh, i can't make decisions concerning my relationships i'm almost 30 years old and i'm a woman with a very unsuccessful love life behind me i had a major crush on one guy when i was about 18 and since then i have compared every single man to this guy the guy was very intelligent and that was a major reason why i had a serious crush on him i asked him out but he refused and it completely broke my heart i was so infatuated with him that i have had a very hard time letting go of him even though i have been dating other men so let me get this straight this woman had a crush on a chad she had a crush on a guy that she was highly attracted to she was unable to lock him down and so what she did guys was she continued to go out there she dated other men that hell she probably didn't even really like and now she's like oh but i want that guy back so every relationship subsequent to this one where she didn't even have a relationship with the guy just pales in comparison and this is what a lot of modern women try and do guys they will go out they'll have their party phase and they'll get with that guy who they think is incredible they think is fantastic maybe he's incredibly attractive incredibly charming has lots of money whatever usually it's just physically attractive and then what they'll do is they'll compare every subsequent man to that man that she got for i don't know 20 minutes that one time at a party Okay, and this is the problem, guys, is that a lot of people cannot actually be happy when they enter into relationships that are actually healthy for them. Like, you can present this exact same girl 
uh, with a healthy relationship. And chances are, guys, she might not even take it. She probably wouldn't even take it because she's still hung up on the previous guy. Even though this was, I don't know, literally 12 years ago in this woman's story. She's literally talking about a man from 12 years ago. And it's, you know, it's ruining her relationships now. So, like, th this is the kind of crap, guys, where dudes look at it and they're like, why would I get into a relationship with a woman who's still caught up on her ex-boyfriend? Or she's still caught up on that guy that she used to date? Or she's still caught up on that guy that she used to have bedroom fun with, but couldn't even get a relationship out, uh, out of the man? And a lot of these situations when she says, you know he refused when i asked him out that doesn't mean that she didn't have bedroom fun with the guy by the way guys like in a lot of these situations what's actually happening is the girl can get the the physical intimacy from the man but she can't actually get the relationship she can't get the quote-unquote connection that she really wants out of the guy so it ruins every subsequent relationship for her let's continue she says the problem i face is always the same i find a nice guy and everything goes well and then i remember my old crush and start comparing him to my boyfriend this pattern has repeated itself now three times in my three longest relationships so this woman goes out there she gets into a relationship with different men and then she ruins her own relationships because she's still comparing the the her current boyfriends to that old guy that she used to see or that she used to be interested in like this woman has literally highlighted three long-term relationships that she's had that have all been ruined by the fact that she can't get over a previous man this is where the term um alpha widowing comes in guys where women will go out with the dude that they're highly attracted to okay things will go south usually that means that she can't secure the commitment that's usually what it means it basically just means she cannot get commitment from the man but she still really likes him and you'll have to excuse the frame rate uh, drops here guys i don't know what is going on with this footage um but you know she'll still want to go out there she'll still want that guy but she can't get him so she'll have relationships in the meantime where she'll disrespect the future guys or she'll treat them like crap because she feels as though she either deserves better or they just don't hold a candle to what the previous guy was and this is of course very sad for the new guys that enter into the relationships because what actually happens is when these men enter into the relationships so the new boyfriends um and maybe you guys have had this happen to you where if the girlfriend is still caught up on her previous relationship she'll kind of try and walk all over you and treat you like crap because she feels as though she's deserving quote unquote of a better quality of man because she feels as though she's still deserving of this previous guy let's continue with the story so the problem my face is always the same i find a nice guy and everything goes well and then i remember my old crush and start comparing him to my boyfriend I love how the boyfriend has done nothing wrong in this situation, but like his relationship with this woman gets absolutely sabotaged because she still views the other guy as more important. This pattern has repeated itself now three times in my three longest relationships. I enjoy dating and have crushes on people and I clearly want to find someone intelligent, but often make hasty decisions when it comes to relationships. I clearly want to find someone intelligent, but I often make hasty decisions when it comes to relationships. Now I am in the same situation again. I started dating my ex three years ago. At first, everything went well, but then I started having those thoughts about my old crush again. I kept comparing them in my head, and this drove me insane. In the end, I thought I needed to break up with him, so I told him. However, I kept feeling really unsure about it, and later, after about five months apart, I told my ex that I missed him. This is absolutely disgusting. So she's throwing away the new men that she's having a, a connection with the guys who are literally in her own words guys the guys who are nice to her the guys who are treating her well the guys that are there for their there for her excuse me the men who are willing and able to have relationships with her what does she do she throws these guys away and then she realizes five months later she's like oh wait a minute i actually want the guy back and this is what happens typically when people want like financial security or they just don't want to be alone anymore is like yeah she'll still be caught up on her ex-boyfriend her ex but she wants that guy there to kind of fill in the gaps and that's really what a lot of men have turned into for a lot of modern women guys they turn into basically 
you're here to fill in the gap so I feel better about myself or so that I don't have to be alone or so that I can be provided for. The amount of husbands, the amount of long-term relationships that I've seen where the men are just basically maintenance men for the guys that they're actually attracted to is just straight up disgusting. Like the women are actually having these relationships with these men, not because they love them, not because they care about them, but because she doesn't want to feel as though she's lonely or she doesn't want to feel as though she's missing out on the provisioning that the man is going to provide her. And they wonder why, guys, this is the insane part to me. They wonder why men don't want to have relationships with them. Or they wonder why all of their relationships go south. Now, kudos to this woman for actually realizing that this is the cause of her relationship dysfunction. You'll see a lot of girls in this exact same situation, guys, where they refuse to even acknowledge that this is a problem and they'll just ruin the relationships and won't say why. But this girl actually seems to have an understanding as to why all of her relationships go south. Granted, she's the one that's ruining them all and canceling them. Uh, but hey, let's keep going. Uh, I kept feeling really unsure about it, and later, after about five months apart, I told my ex that I missed him. So she got rid of this guy that she got in a relationship with, and now she's wanting him back because, you know, probably because of, um, you know, just trying to keep a guy around to have some sort of provisioning, or so that she doesn't feel incredibly lonely, which is really disgusting. We decided to try, but I feel like things haven't really changed much. I feel more depressed than happy, and we fight quite often. I know I care a lot about him, but I can't seem to decide whether my interest in him is romantic or friendly. So, well, I am beyond frustrated with myself because I keep changing my opinion about the guys I date and compare them unfairly to an old crush. What is wrong with me? Why is this happening to me? Does this mean I need to break up with him once and for all or what? Why can't I seem to make decisions about commitment, but I feel I just need to be single in order to relax? Is anyone else going through the same? I feel so lonely with this situation and I can't even describe how frustrated I have become with this problem i love when these girls throw around words like lonely guys like, like really and i say that she was feeling lonely as like an example there guys but these girls truly do not understand the meaning of the word lonely like whenever women say i feel lonely i got into a relationship with this guy but i wasn't particularly sure and then i don't know whether to end it because i like this other guy more the woman isn't actually lonely Okay, she's not actually by herself. She'll always have some guy that she can call upon, some relationship that she can go to, despite the fact that she's complaining about being lonely. She's not actually lonely, not in the same way that men can be lonely. When dudes say that they're lonely, it's a completely different thing to when a girl says that she is lonely, guys. And this poor dude who she's getting into a relationship with repeatedly, I shouldn't even say poor dude because he's silly enough to go back to her. But she's basically just treating this guy as some sort of thing that she can just summon into and out of her life. Okay, and she's clearly not attracted to the dude, by the way. She doesn't even know whether to refer to him as a friend or a romantic interest. But I want you guys to notice how she's perfectly willing and, you know, perfectly willing to have a relationship with this guy, perfectly willing to go out with him uh, to become a couple, guys, but she's not even attracted to him. I've always advocated, guys, if a woman is not attracted to you, there's absolutely no reason to be with her. If she's pulling all of this wishy-washy crap, she's unsure about her ex, okay? Just leave her ass. There's no reason to even be with her. And this is, of course, only applying to the dudes who are interested in dating these days. But guys, I have another Reddit story that we're going to be wrapping up today's episode with because I am done with that degeneracy. So here we have another Reddit story. Uh, it's a 32-year-old woman. Uh, no, excuse me. It's a 38-year-old man and his girlfriend or wife, I think his girlfriend, who is 32 years of age, broke up with him two months ago and is now complaining to him. And this is the story, guys, where you'll see a girl break up with a guy and then before you know it, she's complaining and she wants uh, her way back into his life. Really disgusting stuff. He says... I don't know how to handle this. So two months ago, I was in a relationship that was coming up on six years. I'd spend two to three hours a day 
maintaining her life and she had also made more money than me for five years but always relied on me for bailouts when she frequently ran out of money she never dealt with her emotional problems she'd just go even harder and make herself busier and then relied on me even more to do things for her or she'd become horrible to be around and then tell me i had to get therapy to learn how to deal with it he says i got ptsd as a first responder she was constantly asking me to propose, but when we hadn't uh, done anything together in 2.5 years and she would still get intoxicated and aggressive to the point where I stopped drinking so I could get away from her when she did it, I said I'd propose when she stopped doing those two things and she basically said, no deal. You know, I've got to pull up the men in this situation. I've got to roast the dudes. Guys, because I am so sick of hearing these stories, of seeing these particular situations where you'll have a guy and he's trying to rationalize to himself why he's staying with a woman who's terrible. Like this woman, they've had not had any action apparently in the last two and a half years. She treats him like garbage. She expects him to do absolutely everything. And he's like, oh, I want to make things work or I would propose to her if. I don't understand why dudes will just rationalize to themselves the most terrible behavior from women and then think that it's totally appropriate to stay in the situation. It absolutely disgusts me, guys. And I've got to pull up the dudes whenever I see this, like, because I could roast the woman for being a piece of crap here. But like the dude is just going to go out and continue to do this to himself if he doesn't understand that he doesn't have to be in the situation to begin with. It got to the point where she was away for weeks for work and I had to drive a 60 kilometer trip to look after her horses. I told her this stressed me really badly and she said she simply couldn't afford for me to not look after them. She went away for five weeks and cheated on me and blamed me for being miserable. I argued that I'd stay and work on the problems and she said no, I had to go. This woman is literally giving you an out, by the way. Like she's literally telling you got cheated on and you're trying to work on the problems. Dude, where is your self-respect? That's terrible. So she starts texting me a few weeks after the breakup uh, that the house is a mess. I did that. She's stressed and tired as hell from being so busy again. Again, I helped her with that. So she can't afford her new lease on her car because I'm not there to pay half the bills anymore. She can't find a place to live because she has two pets and lives in a place with a rental crisis before she broke up with me. She has no money to move. Again, a thing I'd fix. She can't afford to go away on work trips anymore because of her four pets and the money for someone to look after them. My job. She needs 10 grand from me or she'll have to sell a horse because of me. She can't buy the farm she wanted with the money from my house I bought and sold before I met her. And she has nothing to show uh, for the entire relationship that she ended. Apparently, this is all my fault for being miserable and making her break up with me. I do feel somewhat beaten down after this experience and part of me says go help. Please help me see this from an outside view. Too long didn't read. My ex-girlfriend grenaded her life and blames it on me. I don't know how to deal with it. What is with this attitude of men of like us trying to fix these things? Like, it is not this dude's responsibility to fix this woman's life. Like, dudes seem to get it in their head that girls who are messes like this, girls who bring nothing but pain to your life, are somehow meant to be fixed. And I would say this to the women as well, to the five women who watch this channel. Girls will often say things like, oh, I tried to treat him well, and after years, he just kept treating me terribly. Why were you even there in the first place? But guys, we are going to be leaving today's episode there. As always, remember to leave your thoughts and your comments, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to our other content creators, Hadan from Peace of Mind and Detective Warg. Their channels will be linked in the video description. And without further ado, guys, we're going to be leaving it there. Make sure you take care of yourselves, and I'll be seeing you all in the next one. Peace.